Hello and welcome to Sonic Lab of the Future. That's because I've got Tom here from Universal Audio and we're uh, having a preview of some technology which is coming out, well, kind of now, I guess, if you're watching this. So Tom, what have we got? We have Arrow, which is our new Thunderbolt 3 bus powered two in four out audio interface. So a new addition to the UA audio interface lineup. Right, so it's getting power directly from the USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 con uh, 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 connection. No external power, right? Absolutely, yeah, which is a big deal because it's the first truly portable UAD, you know, Unison preamp audio interface for on the move. So you can use, uh, as I've got now, the MacBook Pro with the Thunderbolt 3 port or a Windows machine, so it supports Windows or Mac at launch, and USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3. Oh, okay, powering. okay. Um, so, it, I mean, it's a slightly different form factor to the, uh, um, to the uh, Apollo Twin. Mm -hmm. So... Has it got DSP inside? I mean, is it, or is it just an audio interface? No, it's not. It's everything you expect from UA and more because we have um, UAD2 solo chip on board. Right, okay. So it's processing as well as the audio interface side. That's all bus powered, so it now gives you the access to the UA plugins on the move. Um, so you could be on a planes, trains, automobiles. Right, okay. You know, and take the plugins with solo you. Solo only, or does it come in different configurations? Solo only. Right, so I yeah. guess it's designed very much for a sort of grab it and. Grab it and go. Yeah, musicians on the go, producers, engineers, even you know location recording and lots of various uses where you'd need the bus powering and a laptop. Right. Okay. And what about the actual mic preamp stuff? Are you still using the same kind of quality? Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, the sort of feature points for Arrow really would be you've got two Unison mic preamps, which is part of our Apollo range. Right. And that allows you to get. Um, the classic vocal sounds and all these old emulations of great tube preamps and things like Neve and API right here in the two mic pre's. You also have the instrument input on the front here which will allow you to also use the Unison technology and plug in a guitar and just get great classic instrument sounds on the go. So it's like a record path effectively? It's a total record path, yeah. It's a right. studio in a box, absolutely, yeah. But then of course um, you can monitor out of it and, and use it to control little pair of active speakers or whatever, right? Absolutely, yeah. So there's a pair of monitor outputs for near fields or whatever you're sending, you know, maybe even be a feed to stage even. And then you have a headphone output here, which is a separate output. So you have All right, so we've got, the, we've got the separate busing as well. Yeah, okay. so separate converters for those on the outputs. And this, um, this is running on a sort of standard version of uh, the console software, right? That's correct, yeah. So it comes with, if people are familiar, the um, Apollo console software, which yeah. runs on your Mac or PC and controls the DSP mixer that's within right. the interface. So it's not just an interface, it's actually the entire monitor path, the process path. You can have, uh, for example, track with near zero latency with processing built in. So if we, if we took a look at it actually, um, we've got say, the ability to load a vocal chain. Uh, here we go. And that now bring up signal from the microphone. So this is an entire chain we can go through to look at how you'd be able to work with, with Arrow. Right. Okay, so you get near zero latency monitoring. You can track with reverb and compression. So for people who are singers, you plug your mic in as we've done here. You've got the usual stuff. So you can obviously select phantom power, high pass filters. Um, with the preamp switch, you can choose channel one or channel two. You'll see here the, the gain knob here is orange. That's that means Unison, using, is it? Right. That's fully Unison enabled, exactly. Just the same as any Apollo interface. So that's, that's the technology that kind of reconfigures the mic amp uh, impedance-wise and all of, all of that. It's, yeah, total synergy. Voodoo. Yeah, yeah, complete synergy between the hardware and right. the software. So it's not just a, a, a plug-in. It's actually, this microphone's going to change its response. It's going to feel different when you sing into it. If you plug a guitar into the instrument input, your guitar is going to feel different under the fingertips when you when you plug into that socket. So the the software is controlling the hardware, and that's what makes it so unique among right. interfaces, really. So, what kind of stuff could we run on this? I mean, a single DSP chip still allows us to run a bunch of uh, plugins, and I guess it's designed more for a record channel. But I guess you can use it in a mix. I mean, what what do, what would you got it set up here on the mic? Yeah, so this, is, this would be a good example of a, a, a vocal channel with all the plugins that come included with Arrow. So when you buy an Arrow, there's 14 plugins included with this. So it's not just the interface, it's the sort of software synergy, right. the UAD platform integrated. You can obviously add plugins from our whole library, which are you know, things like Antara's Auto-Tune, Moog filters, Neve preamps, API, and so forth. So it depends on which one of those that you run in terms of the DSP yeah, yeah. usage. But this is a really good sort of out-of-the-box vocal chain that I set up here. So you've got the 610B preamp set in unison mode in the unison slot of the console. 
So here you can see you have the orange unison gain control, which allows you to dial in sort of tube harmonics and all the color of the 610B. If we bypass that, for example, you'll see that this preamp gain goes green again, and that takes us back to the standard flat right. interface sound. So that's kind of like vanilla, and then you have the whole world of flavor that you can pull in on top of, on top of that. So like, if we go back to the unison preamp here, this is obviously modifying the sound of the microphone to some degree in terms of the relationship to get this old vintage tone. Yep. Um, we have EQ integrated into the 610 channel strip. You have this very cool mode, which is a, a feature from the Apollo, where if you um, press and hold the encoder knob until the channel number is flashing, you get this orange dot on screen. And then by tapping through on the encoder, you get this gain stage mode, which is something that we've taken from our really professional Apollo interfaces, which are, you know, have become the best-selling kind of rack mount Thunderbolt solution and desktop solution with the twin, and bringing this into a bus-powered format into Arrow. So that allows you to sort of gain stage your entire vocal chain. So you can tap through the, the various gain stages of whatever preamp you have, or even a guitar amplifier, for example. Um, so from the 610B, you could easily run some tracking compression with the LA2A legacy plugin, which is included. Right. So you can see that there's going to be a tiny bit of gain reduction and coloration happening with this. And then some more, maybe if I clap, uh, we get the gain reduction moving here on the 1176. So by having the sort of tube harmonics of the 610 Pre, and then a couple of nested compressors to get just a little bit of help on your vocal as you're going in. You can record done, you know, like a record, or effectively make your recording sound like a record. So the Poltec EQ is what I'm using to finish off the chain, which is right, the so legacy. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff in there as well. So mm -hmm. and what's that doing on the CPU? That's a so DSP-wise, this is actually running at, uh, sorry, I'm going to have a look there, 69%. Right, but there's okay. also a Pro Tools session open in the background with a plug-in in there as well. So oh, OK, right. It's actually a bit lower than that. So you might be able to get like a, just a, a bit of wet in there just to help out. Oh yeah, and well, this is the beauty of the, the, the Arrow console or the Apollo console as they, they integrate to the same platform. Um, you have AUX sends and a headphone send, so you can actually create a separate Q mix for an artist or for yourself if you need to have you know, the main outputs feeding um, speakers and have a, a sort of two room recording situation. Um, and then you've got two AUXs, or AUX 1 and AUX 2, which feed these effects channels you can see over on the right hand side. So I'm actually running, again, included plugins that come with Arrow, the Precision um, a delay modulator, which is a nice stereo delay. Right. You know, and we've also got Real Verb Pro, which is uh, one of our oldest reverb plugins. Right. So I mean, so that's UA. all running on a single chip. Yeah. So we got so the, the vocalist in this case, you know, if you're assuming we're going to sing, would be able to have effects in the in the uh, in the monitors, not necessarily record that, but but we could record either the the, the affected sound or the uh, the plugin sound as well. So we've got all of that signal path stuff. As Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you think this is bus powered, you could literally be in a field. Right. And you've, you've got a, a great microphone, and it's full phantom power as well, because Thunderbolt 3 has got higher power, higher power spec, delivery, yeah. yeah. You've got two channels of proper 48 volt phantom power, which a lot of bus powered, especially USB interfaces, don't actually deliver. Right. Um, and you often have to then have two states of operation or plug in an adapter. Yeah. So this is, this is a genuine pro solution on the move. And yeah, you could be in a field with a 610B tube preamp, an LA2A, an 1176, a Poltec EQ, record that into the computer so it's done, and monitor with reverb and delay, and also record those if you wish. That'll be for the really fussy performer who has to be in that specific place, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you mentioned about being in a field, obviously with vocals, I and mean, we've got a guitar here. Mm -hmm. comes bundled with some other guitar uh, products as well. It does, and a new plugin for us, which is called the Marshall Plexi Classic, which is a sort of vintage Marshall guitar amp that runs in unison, so you have access to all the different jack connectors on the amp. And that, that function works on the, uh, the, the unison, works on the instrument input as well. Absolutely, yeah, I'll just load the patch here, so effectively, Oh, I'll give you a quick demo of it. So, strap on your strap. Yeah, you know, playing standing up. It's been a while. <laughs> here we go. So you'll notice if you plug in a guitar cable here, it automatically selects the high Z input. So it's already intelligent enough right. to know that we're plugging in for a guitar sound. So we have, um, just to give you a tour of the plug-in here, this is actual guitar chain. So this is the kind of thing you could also do in a field, <laughs> oddly. Uh, so you have the Marshall Plexi Classic, then we've got a bit of uh, compression with the LA-2A, then also some EQ with the Poltec Pro. I'm using a 610B as a sort of lead driver, which I'll show you afterwards. And then I'm sending to, in this case, the pre Precision Reflection Engine and also a reverb. So this is a full sort of guitar sound, sort of ready to go. So you've got... Right. 
whole thing. But then if you want to sort of put on a bit of boost here with the 610 preamp, you can go into lead mode and have the... So drive a bit extra into the amp to get... Yeah, exactly. So you can do that whole thing, and that's running on. That's almost right. the entire solo chip. So all you need now is a pedal sound. board and foot switch, so you can have a clean and dirty channel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's only yeah, room yeah. on the uh, on the interface there, right? <laughs> okay. And this comes as part of the bundle, right? It does. Everything I've shown there, plug-in-wise, is included with the Arrow. And, and so, in terms of the uh, the way the DSP integrates, if I've got other UAD products and I bring this home. Will this the DSP become you know available as part of that whole system, or be, or is it so, something separate? Yeah, so the, the Arrow Solo Core will integrate with the UAD platform to give you an extra core of processing with your system. But the Arrow itself um, will work with Apollo racks, but not with twins because they're sort of like the two desktop. Right. Okay. Choices. And do you get that all that kind of remote monitoring control and that sort you of stuff? You don't. No. Oh, this right, is okay. kind of designed as it's it's uh, portable on the move desktop equivalent. And if you want all the monitor control and remote functionality for the racks and you're really looking at the Apollo Twin for that. Right, okay. So they don't, you know, they, they're kind of compatriots. Let's right, say. so um, I'm guessing the, 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 the crunch is the, the pricing really, right? Absolutely, hopefully better than you expect. So um, 499 US dollars map, Right. 540 GB pounds and 595 euros. Okay, and uh, as we're filming this ahead of time, it's hard to know exactly when that's gonna be, so I can't say it's shipping in, but soon, right? Yeah, early 2018. Tom, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, that's the Universal Audio Arrow Thunderbolt 3 bus-powered interface. That's it for this time. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.